Nah, dalam awal ini sejumlah 45 mengenai isu gelandangan di Ibu Negara di Kuala Lumpur yang umum tahu bukan satu perkara baru. Di Kelantan, golongan gelandangan di sekitar Kota Baru, Kubang Kerian serta Pasir Tumbuh. Golongan gelandangan tidak terhenti dalam tempoh perintah kawalan pergerakan sahaja. Baik dan isu uh, gelandangan ketika pelaksanaan PKP, PKPB ini. Isu gelandangan telah menarik perhatian ramai bukan sahaja kerajaan tetapi juga badan bukan kerajaan NGO. Buat golongan gelandangan yang sebelum ini kebanyakannya sekadar cukup makan terkapai-kapai mahu meneruskan kelangsungan hidup. Semalam Menteri Pembangunan Wanita, Keluarga dan Masyarakat Datuk Seri Rohani Abdul Karim berkata obskasi akan dilancarkan bermula Julai ini bagi menangani isu orang gelandangan di ibu negara. Homelessness is a real issue and is fast rising into the country's top social issues. By definition, homelessness is a form of urban poverty and can be identified whenever people are forced to live in informal settlement under subpar living conditions due to sudden changes in their living circumstances. A research by University Malaya Center for Poverty and Development Studies a few years ago showed a sharp rise in urban poor and homeless people and there is a need to battle urban poverty. In Malaysia, the statistics show that the number of homeless population from 2011 to 2015 provided by Department of Social Welfare Malaysia and the number is very alarming with an increasing trend of total number of homeless people. The most shocking fact is that the most of these people are Malaysian and yes, the ones we call country homes are living on the street. Homeless people often face various problems, especially in safety, food and shelter. They encounter many social disadvantages which prevent them from being able to fit into the society. According to the article by Maria Hulea, among the top reasons for homelessness in Malaysia include unemployment, low income and domestic violence. Conflicting to a common perception, the majority of the homeless in Malaysia are members of the workforce who do not have access to a sustainable source of income to afford a place to live. Moreover, the homeless community is often targeted by employers seeking to exploit them by paying them below minimum wage. In other words, the homeless are victims of their circumstances and do not live on the street by choice. Many of them live in poverty and most of them have no family to go back to. The government relies on the Distinguished Person Act 1977 to resolve homelessness in Malaysia. In accordance to this act, anyone who is deemed homeless by authorities can be taken into custody and then transferred to the relevant welfare institutions. However, only a minority of the detained manage to be helped by the welfare institutions. The majority are released within a few hours and expected to return to their original informal settlement on the street without transportation or money. In light of COVID-19 pandemic, the local government took the initiative to house the homeless community, around 500 people within a community. The prompt response of local government in aiding the homeless community during the COVID-19 pandemic provide a hopeful insight into the increasing effort and continued investment in improving the social welfare of the homeless community in Malaysia. While food is perhaps the most important resource needed by the homeless community, it is by no means the only thing that is required. Several NGOs such as Ubuntu Malaysia, believe that every individual deserves access to the essential needs and dignified living in the ultimate goals. Homelessness is a state, not the identity. Let's support homeless community towards a better Malaysia.